Hey everybody, sorry about not doing a new song this week. I'm getting over some allergies. But uh, next week, hopefully I'll be uh, able to release a new collaboration with the Santa Clara Vanguard Horn Line. Uh, I'm super excited about it. So this week, instead, I thought I would take you through uh, the schedule of the International Trombone Festival Youth Workshop. If you haven't heard of the ITF Youth Workshop yet, then you haven't been paying attention, but basically we have the International Trombone Festival where the greatest trombonists of all time come together every year. Uh, and we thought, how great would it be to have a track just for students uh, to actually get more time playing and instruction from the greatest uh, instructors and get to go to all these amazing concerts, recitals, and master classes. Uh, and so that's what this is. Now, if you are a middle school or high school trombonist, if you're coming to the youth workshop, uh, if you are a teacher or a parent of somebody who is or will be a middle school or high school trombonist, um, definitely watch this video uh, and you'll get a really good idea of what we do. Uh, and uh, I'll also put a whole bunch of like frequently asked questions at the end of this video. I'm not gonna do it at the top because it's super specific to people who are coming this year uh, or who will be coming in the future. But uh, if you want everything there is to know about this, uh, this is the video for you. So uh, before I get into the schedule, if you wanna come out uh, and you haven't registered yet, we are hoping to get those in by I believe June 8th. Uh, but if you're late to the game, register. We will bend over backwards to make sure everybody who wants to come out can join us. Uh, so please, register. You can commute uh, or you can uh, join us in the dorms. Just email us and, and we'll get that all squared away. So this year it's July 10th through the 13th in Muncie, Indiana at Ball State University outside of Indianapolis. And uh, it, for those of you who came last year, you remember that the registration was kind of a nightmare because we have so many people. We have more people registering this year than last year, so it'll be even crazier. So we're asking the Youth Workshop to get there the day early, J Tuesday, July 9th, uh, and register that afternoon. We'll all hang out, we'll have dinner, and then we're going to uh, all kind of do something special. Maybe it's a secret. I don't know if it is, but I'm not going to tell you what we're doing. And then uh, Wednesday, July 10th is when the main festival starts. And so after breakfast, we'll have a group warm-up. Uh, and that will be with the host of this year's festival, Chris Van Hoff. Hello there, I'm Chris Van Hoff. I'm happy to be the host of the 2019 International Trombone Festival right here at Ball State University in Muncie, Indiana. This is Bobblehead Bach, the official mascot of the trombone studio here. Uh, today, I'd like to invite you to register for the ITF Youth Workshop. It's for trombonists between the ages of 12 and 18. And you can find out all about it at trombonefestival.net. That's where you go to register as well. You will be, have the opportunity to play in warm-up classes, play in trombone choir. There's a jazz trombone ensemble option. You get to go to the exhibit hall, work with master teachers, hear world-class performances. So it's just a fantastic way to spend five days of your summer. So after that, we'll split into ensembles. Uh, and this is where you'll be spending a lot of your time playing. And uh, we'll be doing a final concert in these ensembles as well. So we have uh, every difficulty level, beginner, intermediate, advanced. And this year, we're adding a jazz trombone choir. Uh, and this isn't to say like who can get in the top ensemble, who's better than who. Uh, it's to put you in an ensemble where you will be challenged, uh, but not overwhelmed. And if you get in one and you feel overwhelmed and you need something more manageable, we can move you to a different ensemble. If you get in one and you feel like this is way, way too easy, we can bring you to one that is uh, more advanced. So uh, it's really for you to get the best experience playing with people who are hopefully on par, if not a little bit better than you and kind of keep you on the edge of your seat. Uh, and that will be really awesome because we have uh, re some returning uh, educators who are some of the best educators in the entire world. We have Tim Reardon. Hi everyone, I'm Tim Reardon. I'm the trombone teacher here at the Merritt School of Music in Chicago, Illinois. These are some of my students and uh, we're all going to be at the International Trombone Festival Youth Workshop uh, July 10th to 13th, 2019 at Ball State University. And uh, we hope to see you there! Yeah. Yeah. Sean Reich. <laughs> And Oscar Diaz. Hi, my name is Oscar Diaz and I'm the trombone professor here at Texas A&M University Kingsville and I'm here to invite you to the this year's International Trombone Festival Youth Workshop. I'm going to be one of the faculty members and I was very humbly asked to take charge and do one of the, uh, or conduct one of the trombone ensembles. It's gonna be an awesome experience, and I hope to see everyone there. And the Jazz Trombone Choir will be uh, directed by Freddie Mendoza. <laughs>
that afternoon I'll be doing a, a clinic, masterclass, live looping demo, uh, and Q&A where you guys can ask me anything you want. And then after that, I will be gathering everybody into one room uh, for a mass trombone choir rehearsal. Uh, so that's over a hundred youth workshop participants uh, all playing a piece that I'm writing specifically for you And it will be the finale of our concert at the end of the week that day You'll be able to see recitals by Mayumi Shimizu and uh, Peter Steiner at the end of that day and uh, Every day you'll go to the evening concert with the main festival So if you saw my other video about the trombone festival, which I'll link in the description uh, You get to go to all of those concerts. So that's this concert with the uh, principal trombonist of the LA Phil and the uh, Royal Concert about orchestra uh, and the concerto concert the next day, uh, the J.J. Johnson tribute jazz concert, uh, and the final Star Wars concert. So you get to go to all of those, that's at the end of every day. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we wake up bright and early the next morning and do kind of a similar schedule where we have a group warm up, that one with the great Carol Jarvis. <laughs> Thursday after some more ensemble rehearsals, you'll have master classes and recitals uh, by Nick Finzer, Jürgen van Rien, Ken Tompkins, and Yu Tamaki. I should also note that built into the schedule, uh, it's time for you to go to the expo hall and, and check out all sorts of trombones. All the different trombone manufacturers and mouthpiece makers, they're all there. Uh, the only thing you have to remember if you want to try a trombone that is a different size than yours and you don't want to try it, you know, use one of their mouthpieces. Uh, you just make sure you bring different mouthpieces so you can try out all the different trombones and bass trombones and contrabasses and everything. Uh, as well as, you know, sheet music and, um, mutes and everything you can imagine. Uh, and then we're on to Friday. So Friday the group warm-up is led by Brad Palmer. And along with more rehearsals you'll get, uh, master classes and recitals by Jennifer Wharton, The Westerlies. <laughs> the Indie Symphony Low Brass section. You'll also have the awesome opportunity to sit in the closed rehearsals for the final two evening concerts. And so that's the J.J. Johnson Jazz Tribute Concert and the Star Wars Jim Nova Concert. Uh, so those are closed rehearsals. They're not open to even the main festival, uh, but the Youth Workshop will have access to them, which is so cool. Uh, and so then there's the uh, J.J. Johnson Concert that evening. And then we're on to the last day, Saturday. First you'll have a group warm-up by Steve Wolfenbarger, and then uh, clinics by Ryan Keberly and uh, Blake Schlabach of the Indianapolis Symphony. Hey everybody, this is Blake. After that we have a dress rehearsal for our concert, which is uh, super awesome. The Youth Workshop gets to perform for uh, the main festival, and uh, that's all of the ensembles and the mass choir. Uh, that's in Sursa Hall at 5 o'clock p.m. on Saturday. Uh, and make sure you bring all black for that concert. After our concert, you're free to reunite with your families, uh, or if you're flying solo, stick with our chaperones and go to the final Star Wars concert uh, with Jim Nova, and uh, then whatever your prearranged plans to travel back home are. So uh, that is the general look. If you have other questions, uh, you can contact the Youth Workshop coordinator, Andrea Van Hoff. Uh, there's her email and everything in the description if you need to contact her. Uh, and now, for more specifics, uh, some frequently asked questions uh, for anybody who's feeling nervous or excited and you want to know everything there is to know going into it. So again, if you want to register and you haven't already, make sure you do that as soon as you can. Uh, we will make sure you can. Uh, there are a bunch of forms you're going to want to fill out uh, on the Youth Workshop uh, page on trombonefestival.net. Uh, there are some medical forms and uh, some releases, uh, as well as just kind of a survey for your playing level so we can start to kind of place you in different ensembles. Uh, if you live nearby, you can commute. We will be meeting at Emmons Circle Drive, uh, so that's pick up and drop off for commuters. 
uh, on the side of the music building uh, at Ball State. So uh, we'll have chaperones waiting there at the beginning of the day and uh, waiting at the end until everybody's picked up. If you're staying on campus with us, uh, check-in is 3 to 6 p.m. on uh, July 9th at Studebaker's West. Uh, and if you get there after 6, uh, there are people at the front desk until midnight every night. Uh, and so you can go in and get your keys and then we'll just register you the next day. As far as a bunch of middle and high schoolers running around, uh, we have trained chaperones that will be with the students every single step of the way. Uh, and additionally, some student workers that will help out with any individual needs uh, from the chaperones or the students. Um, and for the youth workshop participants who are traveling alone for the first time, uh, just let us know and we will uh, make sure that that's not so scary for you. We'll be having all our meals together at a place called The Atrium on campus. It's got a bunch of restaurants there and uh, those meals are covered by your tuition. Uh, if you do want to have a meal like off campus or with uh, a parent and guardian somewhere else, um, just make sure you have your parents' uh, text Andrea before that happens, uh, or if you have to leave the group for any reason, like uh, a doctor's appointment or if you have a long commute and you want to leave before the final concert, just make sure uh, your parent or guardian texts or calls uh, Andrea before that uh, so we know that everything is accounted for. So other than that, uh, just some reminders of stuff to bring. Make sure you bring a wire stand. We won't have stands for everybody, uh, and we could share some, but uh, there's over 100 of us, so just make sure you, you bring one if you've got one. Uh, all black for the final concert, comfy clothes, comfy shoes. We'll be walking around campus all week. I'm sure it will be very hot as well, so be mindful, bring some sunblock. Uh, and your trombone, of course. Uh, if you want to bring money for the expo hall, for sheet music and gear, any of that stuff, you can do that. Obviously, like I said, some uh, mouthpieces if you don't want to use the ones there uh, to try out other horns. And uh, yeah. That's basically it. If you have other questions, uh, look right in the description uh, and you can email Andrea and we will get back to you right away. I can't wait to see all of you. This is gonna be so much fun. This is the biggest youth workshop we've ever had. It's uh, certainly the most organized and set and it's gonna be so much fun and I'm excited. Um, can't wait to be back with more music next week. Uh, I have some exciting stuff coming up and I'm not gonna tell you about any of it. Uh, so come on out. Youth Workshop, July 10th through the 13th in Muncie, Indiana, Ball State University. Uh, we are very close to you not having to hear about this anymore if you are uh, over it. Uh, but I'm not. Alright, I'll see you guys next week.